this video just goes to show that you should always go to library book sales because you never know what you're going to find for one dollar and how much you will love it. You never know when you're gonna come across a gem like this one, which frankly I loved. I'm gonna read it again, I'm gonna read it a million times, and I'm gonna cry every single time. That's right, this book made me cry. Don't go spreading that around, I've got a rep to protect, but just between you and me, yes, I got a little emotional. This book was apparently very popular when I was growing up. I don't recognize it. I never knew about it. Uh, it must not have been popular in my little locale or whatever, but it was very, very um, well known, if you will, like when I was, I don't know, probably a middle grade or elementary school kid. So it was actually a winner of the Newbery Medal, and this used to be a sign of a great young kid read to me. This is a middle grade book. It's about the level of holes. If you can, if you've read that, that'll give you a good reference point. So we're talking, you know, it's a chapter book. Oh, that's the past reader's bookmark. Okay, we got to keep that in there so that they are always a part of this book. So you've got, you know, pretty big text sizes. It's uh, a middle reader. It's not super advanced, but like holes, I feel that this book is a perfect example that young books, books for young people, can be just as powerful as a lengthy adult fiction. When they're done well, I mean, they are done well. This book is so special. Uh, I think it will appeal to a certain type of person. If you're a more creative person, a more um, whimsical person, then this is probably really going to speak to you. I know it did to me. I felt like it was talking to my soul. Okay, and I didn't expect that much from it. Again, it was a dollar at a library book sale. The description on the back is kind of like, you know, it doesn't really tell you anything. I'll read it to you. It says, as Sal entertains her grandparents with Phoebe's outrageous story, her own story begins to unfold. The story of a 13 year old girl whose only wish is to be reunited with her missing mother. In her own award winning style, Sharon Creech intricately weaves together two tales, one funny, one bittersweet, to create a heartwarming, compelling, and utterly moving story of love, loss, and the complexity of human emotion. So, as the description says, there are two sort of stories going on here, and as we learn more about one story, we are gaining insight into the main story. Sal is this 13 year old girl who's going on a road trip with her grandparents who are just absolutely adorable and quirky and weird in the best possible way. And they say to her in the car, how about a story, spin us a yarn. And Sal instantly thinks of this other girl she knew called Phoebe Winterbottom. And she says back to them, I could tell you an extensively strange story. And her grandmother says, oh good, delicious. And that's how she ends up telling him about Phoebe and in turn telling them really about herself and her own story. And it all ties back into this road trip that she's going on with her grandparents. And frankly, it's funny. It's heartbreaking. If I talk about it much more, I will start crying. This was one of those books that I read super quickly and I think it'll mean something different to you at every age of your life, which is why I want to read it again. I finished reading it at the kitchen table and my husband was sitting across from me working on his computer and I literally closed it, slid it across the table and said, here you go, because I really want him to read it. I want everyone to read it. And wow, what a heartbreaker. I posted about it on Instagram and someone commented a line from this, which I'll go ahead and tell you because it's not a spoiler. They just said, it's not a marriage bed, but it'll do. And if you've read this book, then you know what I'm talking about. But I, all, I started tearing up just reading that comment from that person. So great book, super impactful. And I want to talk to you about it like spoilery, but I won't because I would never do that to you. So if you have read it, message me so that we can talk about it and, you know, feel all the feelings. And if you haven't read it and you do like to read middle grade books or if you have a kid and you think you're looking for reads for them, I think fantastic book. And if they haven't read Holes, get them that too. They're both books that could be stretched out into these epic adult lengthy fictions, but they don't need to be. They're still great stories. They're just told simply uh, for a younger audience. So fantastic. I freaking loved it. It's a new favorite of mine. I wish I'd read it as a kid, but I'm glad I read it as an adult, if that makes any sense at all. So that's Walk Two Moons, Sharon Creech, Newbery Medal winner. Get on it. If you liked this video, do me a favor before you go, hit that thumbs up button, drop me a comment below. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, but you like all things bookish, book reviews, hauls, TBRs, you name it, all the good bookish stuff, I'm your girl. So go ahead, press that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.